Hey guys, how you doing? JP Sari Kolia here and welcome again to another reaction video. And in today's video, I want to react to the newest pre-orders, the newest reveals from Super 7, particularly Dungeons and Dragons. That is one that has a lot of people excited for good reasons. And I want to cover today, I want to talk about the good, the bad, the things that I consider are great for collectors, for toy collectors, but also the things that perhaps are not so good. So stay tuned in the next couple of minutes. First, let's talk about Toxic Crusaders. I want to talk about Toxy, this figure, this version that it's on pre-order right now. And it, the pre-order is going to end at the end of this week. This is a new version. We already have previous versions of this figure. Price is $55. So you're a fan of Toxic Crusaders. It looks kind of cool. Actually, I like this version in comparison to the others, to the original and the other versions they have. This version looks, in my opinion, the best. So if you're interested in this character, uh, it's going to end uh, very soon in a couple of days. So by all means, you know, go and pre-order before it runs out. All right. And now I want to talk about the Thundercats. We have the Wave 10, which is amazing. I remember that I reacted to the first wave. And now after, you know, just a few years, it hasn't been that long. At least that's what I think, you know, time flies. Now we are in wave 10 and this line has grown and it's amazing what Super 7 has been doing. Now, as you can see this wave 10, you have Snarfer, Quick Pick, a young Lino. This is of course from the, the first cartoon, if I'm not mistaken, the first episode, uh, Munra, Dream Master, this ethereal version. And there's a set of course of four figures uh, plus exclusive Super Pack. This is if you pre-order through Super 7, uh, $240, that's a steep. What I really like about Super 7, it of course is the accessories. I love the figures. They really respect the source material. In this case, the cartoon. I like Young Lino. I do like Snarfer. And then the, I like uh, Moonra. I think that's a nice looking version of Moonra. And here you see the extra portraits they come if you pre order directly. There's a mock up. Here you can see Quick Pick. Uh, this character, I really don't remember much. Of course, you know, I have watched the cartoons, but I don't watch them, you know, constantly. I watch it from time to time. You can see Snarfer. That is actually the one cool looking figure. Now looking at it, it looks more like renditions rather than the actual prototypes, but that looks pretty neat. This version, I think this version is, is going to be nice. I do like it, the translucent, of course, Yaga, that version, astral version, very high to come by. Now here, Young Lino looks really nice. I do like the way they sculpt on this figure. That really looks cool. And here you, you have the sort of omen. And I love the stand that comes with it. Pretty neat. And here is a mock-up of the packaging. I think the packaging looks great. Uh, particularly this one. I think this is nice on display. Another thing that I heard is that I think Super 7, the most recent wave, they're coming without the sleeve on the boxes. And I think some of the boxes are coming without the the shipper box, which a lot of people are dissatisfied. I'm happy about that. They kind of cutting cuts on it. And here's Narfer. These are mock-ups, but um, they give us an idea how they're going to look on display. So I'm not so sure if that's the case. I know some people receive them without the sleeves and the, without the shipper box, the protector box. So I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be the new thing because uh, the most recent figures that I have, they come with all of that. And I like that. Although I don't really buy them for the, this, you know, in this case for the case, I don't keep them on the box. I think the Super 7 figures are more for display to take them out of the box. Now, looking at the figures separately, you have Moonra, Dream Master, as you can see. I love the translucent plastic on this one. This is one that is going to sell well and a lot of people are going to go for it. Love the effects in, in the fingers and the hands, the extra hands. That is a really cool figure. So I really like what they have done here. Okay, the 360, uh, which is, is very cool. Just to give you uh, some sort of idea. Now, if you look at Young Lino, the extra porters are nice. The stand, of course, with the two different sorts of omen and the hands. That's cool. So, of course, it's a mock-up of the box. Very nice. Now, if we look, uh, you can also get the 360. Now, looking at Quick Pick. Accessories for the hand look pretty nice. The color looks nice. This is a very obscure character, but it's nice that now Super 7 is getting into the obscure characters. And uh, I think that's a statement, a strong statement of the 
quality of the, you know, in this case, the reception of this collection, but also what Super 7 has done and how they have kept at it and continue to do so. And uh, also the, the Silverhawks is another line that I really like a lot, but uh, the Thundercats have done really, really well here. You can see the extra portraits. This is a very nice snarfer. Looks pretty cool with all that those accessories. Now I'm bringing you to Big Bad Toy Store so I can show you what's there. Uh, and of course they have this on pre-order. You don't get the extra packs if you, uh, if you pre-order here, but that's another op option for a lot of people. They prefer to do that with Big Bad Toy Store. Also, I think the price is fair in the United States with $4 shipping, which is it's always been a standard for many years and that is great. And also uh, they're better for international. Here you can see on the Thundercat side, it's $54, $74 from Umra. That's the expensive one because of the size. That's another thing that I need to mention. I think the problem a lot of people have with Super 7 is not with the quality, although sometimes the QC, is, uh, there's a couple problems here and there. It's in the end, the price point. It's, they're not cheap figures. They're not cheap at all. Uh, but they have grown this collection in a way that they're, there's no comparison. Another company is producing this level of detail for thundercats there's no other they have grown this collection in a way that it's very very nice and there's so much they're going through the obscure characters and uh it's it's super cool i again i don't have them all i've been collecting them but i don't have them all i want to keep adding more to the collection i need to do that more this year i want to concentrate more on that but as you can see they have done fantastic now the one that i'm mostly interested on of the one collection that i'm surprised and i'm blown away i think a lot of people are super happy and excited it's the dungeons and dragons the complete animated series this collection came out of the left field i think i heard someplace here and there of course you if you were kind of get deep with the the groups and on facebook you know people there are talks about this and that but i wasn't expecting it to be honest with you and i'm really happy Gotta be honest with you, the Hasbro line in this the series, the Hasbro line that just came out recently was a big disappointment. And I did not collect it, and I'm so glad that I didn't. A lot of people were dissatisfied with the quality. There was a lot of QC problems. The packaging, although the R was nice, the fact that they were they have no window packaging, that was uh, to me a big this is service. You can find them on discount stores i seen them all the time i skip them all the time i i thought about getting them but then i say no I, I just i was thinking maybe i'll do it another time because it seems that they sit there nobody really wants them and you know i feel bad because you know this is you know there, there was never toys in the day back in the day and now having this toys the first time after 40 years the 40 anniversary and they're not the the best quality but however super seven i think it's doing something good here and they are bringing these characters at with much quality and more accessories and i think this is the way to go now uh here you can see hank the ranger you have sheila the thief dekyon the skeleton warrior and you have shadow demons yeah it's a two pack so this is what comes with the first wave 220 dollars and if you order this here let's look at everything that comes here then you get a bonus super pack which is some extra accessories but here you can see the figures that come with it really cool i love the sculpt here i think the sculpts here are better of course these are seven inch uh, the other collection that we have with from hasbro was six inch of course they're not necessarily six inch but it's within that size within the, that scale so this is going to be within the ultimate scale which is always bigger than those so you cannot technically use them both or mix uh, you know mix and match you can't you know this is going to be different I will tell you, she like, look at the sculpt on the face. That is a really nice looking face, you know? And I will tell you, the other figures were not bad, at least when the prototypes were shown, you know, people were excited. I was excited when I look at them, but when, of course, they, they start coming out and all the problems that they had, the excitement went down. But looking at this and the portrait with this one, for example, with Hank, that is pretty cool, man. I love the, what it does, love the weapons that you can, Pose them and accessories. That's another thing that the other ones didn't really have. Now the Shadow Demons. This is a two pack. That's just, this is cool that they're going into that. And that's another thing that I love about Super Seven. That when they bring these waves, they bring the obscure characters, and you know they don't bring all the main characters at first, and they spread them out. And that's how you make money. That's through waves. And I think that Super Seven has been doing it great, as we saw with uh, Thundercats. They have they know now the formula. They've been using that formula. And it's working really, really well. My only concern would be 
that now that they have so many things happening, the reaction figures, and also they have other figures, other collections like the GI Joe, all of that. Now I hope that they don't stretch themselves thin and it's going to be, takes forever for them, the, these things to come out. But last year was fantastic for Super 7. They did amazing. Look at the Skeleton Warrior. I liked it, man. The sculpt on this one. It's pretty cool. Nice detail on this prototype. I don't know who is it, the sculptor here who has been working on it. They're great artists that have been working with Super 7, doing a lot of the sculpts digitally and also um, the traditional way. And I think they do amazing. Now, these are the extra things that come with the pre-order. Uh, you can see from, you know, if you order directly from Super 7, you get this extra weapon, the sword, and you get also this bow and arrow and this ring. So you get some extra things. That's cool. Here also, you can order them separately if you're into that. If, for example, let me show you this picture here with the shadow demons. As you can see, the extra hands and the stands, we are translucent. That's going to be very cool. I'm sure some people are going to purchase more than one. That is just for reference. But we can also, if we can, we can look at here at Dekian, the warrior. The skeleton warrior, you can see, comes with the sword and then the ring. Of course, if you got the extra pack, it comes with the golden ring. Um, man, I love the portraits. The two different portraits are nice. The extra hands. That is really, really cool. Now, if we look at a Sheila, this is a very cool. You can see the portraits. Very nice choices of these portraits. Very nice. The extra hands. Definitely, they did a really nice job with that one. She looks great. She definitely looks great. And here also, you can see Hank. And those portraits, they're really cool. And the hands, of course. Definitely, this is, if I compare this to the one from Hasbro, definitely this wins. Of course, the size might be a problem for some people. But to be honest with you, you can collect that. I'm not sure if Hasbro is going to continue with that. It hasn't really done well. And now that Super 7 has this a stronger relationship with Hasbro, of course, they're going to be picking up some of those lines, which is amazing. I think it's great. They're doing that. And uh, there's so much potential. I will tell you, there's a lot of potential here. Also, Dungeons & Dragons is here on pre-order already. And you can see the price is $54.99. Again, it's not a price. And you, you compare it to what Hasbro is doing with the 20 some dollars and now they're on super discount for like ten dollars or so or even less and most places and ollies for example so yeah i know the the concern is about the price but i you know this is a good start and i think if you go by what they've been doing with the others i think they can really grow this collection they can bring the other characters they can bring obscure characters they can do a lot and so far they're starting strong with sheila and with hank and of course with the the skeleton warrior and the shadow demons. I think they're starting pretty strong. This is definitely a great start. I will tell you this, and you know, you're not coming to the end of the video. I really like what Super 7 is doing. Yes, the price point is the thing. You know, this is the thing. These are not cheap figures. These are collectible figures. These are collect these are figures that some people will prefer to have them on display with the box and everything, and that's fine with me. But they're great figures. They're the best of the best when it comes about, you know, at this scale. I know some people don't like the fact that they're too big or they say they seven. But I will tell you this, and this scale with the seven inch scale, it's not that bad. And these are children, so they're not going to be super tall. I think they're going to be uh, properly scaled. Uh, and I'm super excited. I definitely am looking forward to more reveals from this. And let's see how it goes. But it's exciting to see what Super 7 is doing. This company definitely is investing greatly into a lot of lines again that they can stretch themselves then that's another fear but it's exciting to be here it's exciting to see this type of collection from the 80s come into life and let's hope that this does well and we can also see other collection at some point other uh, cartoons from that era i would love to see more action figures definitely i think this is going to do well there's i would say in north america the, there's a fan base but not as strong as with others like with he-man or with thundercats but Dungeons and Dragons was very popular in Latin America. It was very popular in, in, in other parts of the world. It was very popular in the Middle East. It was popular in a lot of places. So definitely there's going to be a lot of demand 
for this figure so we'll see what happens so once again my friends thanks for watching do not forget to leave a like to leave a comment let me know what you think about these figures follow me on social media facebook twitter instagram the links are in the description please subscribe you're here for the first time support this channel too you can do that through patreon as well and my friends thanks for watching thanks for your support god bless take care i will talk to you again bye bye